a lot of people who listen to us are in the creative space, in the arts, and you can manifest these things. I think J. Cole manifested this moment. I, I can see that. With what I, specific words? I, yeah. When it comes to saying, hey, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best, mm -hmm. I believe he said those things, but he really didn't mean it. Trying to, trying to make himself believe what he's saying type he did, thing? He didn't mean it. Okay. He mm -hmm. didn't mean it. Yeah. Which led him to get on the stage. Even yeah. have to, to face create it. Have to the face it. Worst. This is this is a top <laughs> five outside of all the niggas that be dying in hip hop. Oh my gosh. That's, yeah. that's which is which, the game, which is true because it's like there's been a lot of worse things that happen, guys. No, there's like, been a lot of worse things. But I'm, I'm, rap? I'm keeping it in artistry. I'm not talking in about rap? like tragedy. Okay. Because there's a lot of okay. tragedy in hip hop, but in artistry in hip hop, this is a top five, top three worst moment ever. Oh, for somebody like a J. Cole. Nah, Easy. No, nah, no. Nah. I think it would have been worse if he didn't put out an album or a track and then bow down. Wait, wait. No, wait, I think people would have forgotten about it easily easier on. when if, if he if, didn't do anything. Cole fans going fast today. I need y'all <laughs> to drive Miss D Daisy today. All right. All right. Okay. Y'all in the see you driving on them Land Rovers. Got your foot on the pedal. <laughs> I know. That's why in the intro I was like, let me shut up so that we could take a good pace. Because I'm heated. What I want to go back to before Savon so eloquently broke down what he thought J. Cole committed, right? The music on Might Delete Later, right? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about my... Andre 3000. Andre 3000. I got mad at uh, 3K because I'm a big fan of 3K. And I saw moments of imposter syndrome that maybe I missed out on mm -hmm. at first because, you know, I'm just so enamored by his art, his rap styles, etc. Might Delete Later was previewed to us over and over again on YouTube clips. We didn't know what it was, right? We didn't know mm -hmm. if it was going to be a song, you know, it was going to be a project, etc. And lo and behold, it's a surprise project. I'm like, all right, cool, surprise. It ain't bad. Mm -hmm. And when it came, I liked a lot of the music. How was y'all feeling the music? I liked Fine. it. 12 it tracks, really right? 12 tracks. Uh, personal faves real quick. Pricey. I like the Cameron verse. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. HYB with Central C. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, this is this is. I like Trail of Truth and Ibiza. That's my favorite song. Me too. I like that a lot. Also, we're gonna have to have a Central C conversation for all you niggas that don't like all that UK rap. I'm sorry, we're gonna have that conversation that soon. I like Fever too. Yeah, Fever's I like cool. Fever too. It sounded like Drake Camp, right? Cause and it was a good project because he was gonna drop this project anyway. He yeah. was preparing yeah. to drop it, Talk and then about now, that. yeah, Talk because he yeah. was he's been titling stuff, might delete later, and dropping and stuff leading up to this. That's why I think the project is good because he genuinely was planning to drop a project, and then last minute he, this like that Kendrick verse came, and he's like, oh shit, I should do something on this project. That's why yeah. it felt forced. It mm -hmm. felt. Not truly calculated, yeah. and it showed. But you want to know what's confusing? Walked it all the way back. What's confusing for me is a nigga that would label the project "Might Delete Later" when he's been calling himself the best for so long. Kind of, kind of. I kind of see what Savon is saying. Like, has Buddy just been trying to convince himself? <laughs> it's like when you hide in plain sight. It's hiding yeah, in yeah. plain sight. Um, so I'm working on a project right now at HBO. Um, the documentary is called "The Jinx." Oh. Have I've you seen heard that. of it? I've seen the Jinx. That. I've seen that poster, yeah. It's about a story of a guy who's alleged killer, alleged, right? Um, he's killed, allegedly, his ex-wife, his best friend, and his neighbor. His neighbor, he actually did get found um, truthful of killing. Like, he killed his neighbor, he actually killed but his neighbor. the defense was self-defense, so okay. he actually got off. The creepy thing about that is yeah. he cut his neighbor... So, he chopped his neighbor up and threw him in a lake. Allegedly. Allegedly. No, that ass, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. I just wanted to say it. You're no, right. You're defending <laughs> everybody today. <laughs> I, name one time I defended Jake no, Cole so hard. Ro Ro Robert Durst. You guys are not about to yeah, put, put the Cole nah. stand label on me right I know, now. Because you're, you're not. No, no. You're not. You're well, good. I am, I am. But there's a lot out there. You're good. <laughs> yeah, but in yeah. the story with the whole jinx, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually did kill his neighbor in quote unquote self-defense. But where it got a little bit suspicious is because... He chopped his neighbor up, put him in bags, multiple bags, oh and God. threw it in the river, right? But <laughs> he, did, he, he didn't serve any jail time because the jury said, hey, this was self-defense. Really? But there was one juror who said, yo, yeah, it was self-defense, but why did he chop up the body, right? He didn't have like, to if do you're that. fighting for your life, you just go fight for your life and be like, oh, shit, my yeah. bad. And I once he dies, dog. he dies. Oh, yeah, it's like, yeah. I, I'm not this good where I'm going to have the wherewithal to be like, yeah. 
yeah, I'm going to chop this body up and I'm going to get rid of it and throw it in there, right? So mm. that's where the suspicion lies. Yeah. But this guy, he's free. He's not in jail um, at the time of this documentary. And he's, in my opinion, has been hiding in plain sight, right? Right, right? There are people who hide in plain sight. So I think J. Cole telling himself and telling the world, hey, man, I'm number one, UNO, number one, like all of this shit in hindsight, when you hear him get on stage and act like a hoe, and I hate saying that. <laughs> yeah, that's, okay. Why are you acting Wait. like a hoe? Bro, you so, can't apologize. This is a competitive sport, bro. I, 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 I we, get this. we are no, no. we are R and B. Like, yeah. Talk to me, Nick. Y'all got I'm my stressed. man getting frustrated, I'm stressed, bro. I'm my man getting frustrated. I'm upset. Bro. Okay. Well, let, let's get to the start of the uh, the upsetness for me, at least. Right. Seven minute drill. If you this listen to this song, sound good no more. if you listen to this song, does this not sound like a knockoff like that with a southern bop? I it's, think he did that purposely. I, I, I know I, he, he thought did. He, he was gonna, yeah. It sounds ass. I'm gonna tell you why I had beef at. I hate this, bro. I'm gonna tell you why I had beef at. Look, his dog says, "Say the word." Any nigga that really that looks like they put in work, all right. You lie on some verses. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you get it off. Okay. <laughs> if you look like yo, you might have caught a body or two. I'm gonna let you get it off. Cole, you my guy. We know you went to Red Storm. We know you went to St. John's. We know it was a dollar in the dream. We know it was a dollar for the concert. I never got a hood from you. So as I'm listening to Seven Minute Drill, I'm like, once again, is he acting out of body? Is he not acting like himself? See, I didn't think that because really? I think there's a lot of people who. And um, you know who said this really well? <laughs> Fuck, what's this nigga's name? He's, who? He's locked up right now. And it's we may have to cut this. But yeah. battle rapper, he's Joe's friend. Surf. Surf. Through the go. wave. Facts. Surf said this Jersey. before. He was like, there's a lot of people that are street adjacent. <laughs> yes. Hood adjacent, right? Like, Hood adjacent, I'm yeah. not in the street, but I'm of, I see. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I take J. Cole to be one of those people who maybe he wasn't in the street. And then somebody like a Wale, who mm -hmm. we're going to talk about later. Mm. Like, these guys aren't street dudes. Yeah, but, but more adjacent. Most, most black people, yeah, yeah. most of us, right. even if we not in the street, we know somebody who's really in it or like, mm -hmm. we not that far from it. Mm -hmm. So when he speaks about mm -hmm. his experience, I don't look at him like he's a fraud. I'm or that just he's like, trying to be yeah, from the street. I don't think he tries to be from the street. I think mm -hmm. anybody has a man who they could call right now and who's really with that shit. You no, know what I'm sure. saying? Like, no, so sure. when he said, yo, my man's like, yo, I'm with that action. Yeah. I'm like, all right, we all got somebody who we really <laughs> knows with that action. In comparison to Kendrick Lamar though. Right, the hood adjacent uh, angle you're taking, mm -hmm. you're so right. There's so many people that really most be, of us, yeah, most of us, facts, be doctors, but facts. really know a killer at home, facts. right? Like, <laughs> like I get it. Isn't that crazy? You, no, it's so crazy. As a black experience, like, yeah. no matter how high we get, we can always call a killer. It's great. It is kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of stuff. I ain't gonna lie, that shit lit. <laughs> fuck that, that shit lit. Yeah. Fuck that degree, man. Because we're layered. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. We're for layered, sure, for and sure. for if sure. anything, like Kendrick has shown me a ton of layers. And who he is, when you're talking about a nigga who's really from Compton, right? I don't want to take away from the Ville. I don't want to. I know how the Ville gets. Shout out to my son Fabi. He was raised out there. I know that North Carolina gets down like that. Mm -hmm. I know there were a lot of hood adjacent people there. Like I don't want to take from that. But when you're speaking to a nigga that's really from Compton, and when we say Compton, we mean Los Angeles, right? The gang capital of the world. I don't need that from you. I don't. Because if anything, I'm siding with the nigga that shot first. Who really from the capital of the killings, mm -hmm. right? Let me let me continue to show you why I really got tight at though. I agree. If and I, I said this let's on fight. this podcast. Oh my god! Let's fight. I agree. Okay. Let's fight. So I agree. this reminds me of when okay, so the well, the line that I'm referring to is when J Cole was like, "Your second shit was tragic," meaning to to butterfly, right? And yes. saying that the album wasn't good, Kendrick, like that's what he's saying. That reminds me of when Drake was trying to diss Rihanna and being like, "Your sex wasn't even that good." Like we don't believe you, bro. That's like, a good take. We don't like that's a good take because and this is coming. I just want to okay. I just want to get this. Please. I, like, I know I'm skipping ahead, but I just want to get this out of the air. Like, I still love J. Cole. I'm not, like, a fickle fan. Like, he's still, like, my favorite rapper. I, like, everything is fine. The yeah. king? I don't <laughs> agree with what he did, though. Like, I'm not defending him. Yeah. I think two things can be true. I'm not abandoning him. I'm not abandoning my Cole community. I still love him, respect mm. him. I honestly don't think of him that differently, like, because I'll explain later, but... 
this like rehearing this verse after everything is yeah. crazy I'm like t- I'm what the t- hell I'm so happy yeah. Reggie said what that what the hell was he thinking I'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> That's Reg- real. Reggie she real. Reggie I'm not like I don't know if I ever admitted this to you but you are like my conscience she like, don't live inside you, no, nigga. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. I don't listen. know how to. No, listen, bro. Right, I'm just listening. listening. All, right, bro. all right, my fault. Before I do something irrational, <laughs> I think in Reggie voice. <laughs> like, before what I Reggie said, do? Yeah, 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 yeah. W- you, know how, you know how J. Cole said, I let Nas down? <laughs> Like when I be I doing Reggie some down. fuck shit, bro, I be like, damn, I let Reggie down. I, Reggie down. I really do think Savon does this. Like when he makes bad decisions, <laughs> I can tell that you like Reggie would be so mad at me I'm right now. So, <laughs> so like I let Reggie down. So for her to say this, for her to feel like this, yeah. I feel like I'm on the right side of I history. do think yeah. how he moved was not <laughs> Correct. <laughs> like it, Cole, like come See, on. But at the same time, I'm not abandoning him. Like I'm, I still lo- like I'm not forgetting the decades worth of music that changed my life. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't See, think he was and wrong. I love that. Uh I'm gonna talk to you right now, Mr. Man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the whole uh to pimp a butterfly discourse, critique. That shit was Hold on. We started that. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold, shut up, shut up, shut up. hold on now. You know what happened last week? All right. See that that uh that verbiage is more tolerable from the younger kids. It's more tolerable from people who, no disrespect, like you know Playboy Cardi type music, or just they don't really appreciate lyricism. It was very disappointing mm-hmm. to hear uh, a J Cole, somebody who we consider to be a, a high level lyricist, who probably loves the pimp, to pimp a butterfly, who probably like- loves to pimp a butterfly, tried to downplay it, and for reasons because. J. Cole also made an album around a message and what's going on in the world. Did he? K.O.D. Mm-hmm. About drugs. K.O.D. was centered around um, the rap industry and, like Reggie was saying, the, um, the drug use, mm-hmm. the overdosing, the et cetera, right? Just speaking to a time in hip-hop where, you know, we were... People were, like, lost. People were lost yeah, with the yeah. drugs, right? And mm-hmm. that and it meant something to you. Like, you centered... The, even when you look at the album cover, right? It's him on a throne, right? And it looks like it's all of these rappers, right? Underneath him or something like that, right? And he looked to be drugged out, etc. So, that was very disappointing for me. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, dog, what could be born... <laughs> like, if we really want to go born, Cole... <laughs> We could, we could, we could go through the catalog. <laughs> you feel me? For you to say that after putting out KOD is insanity to me, bro. Like, well, that's, that's insanity to me. The, it's well, not his as, best album. You know why it's not insanity? Is because he didn't believe anything that he said on Seven Minute Drill. He didn't. It, there was no passion. Mm-hmm. It felt in his reluctant. Voice. Yeah. yeah, it was like I have to do this. It almost feels like somebody put a gun to his head and said, "Nigga, be a rapper." I mean, yeah. that's basically <laughs> no, but that's basically like <laughs> you know what I'm the, that's that, what was the, that was a point of his speech yeah. where he was like, "Guys, I I know you guys are telling me that what what Savon said like it sounded reluctant, didn't sound like he meaned it." He said that in his Dreamville Festival speech, he's like, "Yo, I only did this because I was pressured to do it." Like, yeah, I'm said. literally telling you guys. You guys are telling me I shouldn't have shot first, whatever. I shouldn't have mm-hmm. done this if I'm not really competitive like Should that. I play it? And no. but in a speech, he said, "Yes, I made a mistake, guys. Like that is but what I'm literally telling you guys. Even, I'm owning up to it." 